going on everyone so it's been quite some time since I've done a commentary and I was gonna throw this back workout in with my last vlog but I think I can give y'all a little bit more pointers and stuff doing a commentary over this video instead of just like throwing it in there so I wanted to make this video separate as you will see I worked out with Stuart and Sam now Stuart a lot of y'all will know who he is because of my older videos I used to do a lot of workouts with him and filmed with him and now Sam is now Stuart's uh, new workout partner partner. Uh, so as you can see we started off with bent over underhand grip row. We did right around like six sets of these. We started off uh, with like 12 reps and then we did like five sets of 10 reps and then on the last set we did a triple drop set. So each set we would up the weight until we could no longer get 10 reps and then like I said on the last set we did a triple drop set and what we would do is drop off about 20 pounds on each end and go for another like six uh, to eight reps and then drop the weight once more. And then after that, we moved on to a uh, single arm dumbbell rows, just leaning over a bench. This is a little bit different because as you will see, when I'm doing this row, I am trying to turn my hand out. So it's not just parallel to my body. I'm actually trying to turn uh, the dumbbell, the, the top part of that dumbbell out. Uh, give this a try. It feels completely different. It feels kind of awkward because you're not used to doing it this way, but uh, you could feel it so well in your back. And as you can see, I'm trying to go all the way down, getting that full contraction, going all the way down, stretching, and then pulling all the way up, trying to get my elbows back as far back as possible. A lot of people don't uh, do dumbbell rows right. They only go like halfway. They don't fully stretch, and then they don't pull their elbows back as far back as they should. And so that is what you're trying to focus on is just going back and squeezing. And uh, during this exercise, we did uh, five sets. Now, on the last set, we did a triple drop set, and I think this is the set I actually do that on. So we go for uh, we're, we were going for those five sets around 10 to 12 reps, and then in the last set we would go you know those 10 to 12 reps, and then we would drop the weight, and I would probably get like maybe another eight reps and then drop the weight once more. So I started off with 100 pound dumbbells and then on the first drop I went down to 80s and the second drop I went down to 60s. But on the after doing those drop sets, uh, I don't know, just to my crazy mind, I went back to the 100s and just did as many reps as I could again after doing the 60 pound dumbbells and only got around like five reps. Uh, I did not film that, but that's what I did. Just to change things up, it's about muscle confusion, and that is definitely what I did during this workout. So after that extreme drop set, uh, we moved on to a hammer strength. Uh, this is like a row pull down is what it's called. I'm not even really sure exactly what it's called because it's halfway a pull down, but then it's a row as well. So we did four sets of these for around 10 to 12 reps. And then when we hit failure at the 10 to 12 rep mark, as you will see, I got them to actually push down. Uh, so you have a workout partner actually push down for you, as you can see Sam doing for Stuart. And what Stuart is trying to do is just hold it. And the weight's so heavy and you're fatigued that you're not really able to just hold it. So you're just focusing on that negative portion of the rep. And uh, this is me doing this and um, going for 10 to 12 reps, squeezing, get my elbows back as far back as possible. And then when I hit that, 
you know, 10 to 12 reps. When I hit failure, then I'm gonna get Sam to push down. And what I'm trying to do is just focus on that negative. And he's gonna push down. And we did a total of five reps uh, of the negatives. And that was a killer at the end of this. I was dying. Now you can let go. There you go. Uh, one more. Come on. Come on, Abel. Gosh. After all that, we ended on a giant set. So if you didn't know what a giant set is, you have three exercises and you do it in circuit form. So you don't take any rest in between the exercises. So uh, we started off with, I'm sitting on a dumbbell, so it's elevated, seated, uh, close grip row. And we were going for around uh, 12 to 15 reps on all three of these exercises. And we did four sets. So we went on to the cable row, straight into behind the head, pull downs, and then finished off with straight arm, uh, straight arm pull downs. And like I said, we were trying to hit around 12 to 15 reps on every single one of these exercises. And you don't take a rest in between those three exercises until you get done with the last exercise, which is the straight arm pull downs. Give this workout a try, guys. It was super intense. Uh, of course, uh, having good workout partners helps with the intensity because we killed it. I mean, we went through there and this workout was so tough. It might not look that tough uh, with this video and stuff, but off camera, this workout was extremely tough. But hey, that is how you're going to grow and that's how you're going to see progress. So I really do hope you liked the video. And if you did, please give the video a thumbs up and I will see y'all in the next video.